In American Outlaws, Panama City hosting a watch party for locals today. Beef Up Brady's in Lynn Haven was packed out this morning as fans came together to cheer on the red, white, and blue. Local soccer fans cheering on the U.S. women's national team to victory, and it couldn't have come on a better weekend. To see the women take it home today was, you know, the best that I could imagine after this awesome 4th of July weekend and our Independence Day. The American Outlaws inviting everyone out to join in on the excitement of watching the women's national team win a second consecutive World Cup. The first half, there were so many chances. It was just like right there, and we were all on the edge of our seat. So when we finally broke through there in the second half with a couple goals, everybody just kind of let it out. It was, it was great. And, you know, it's, it's just great to see them do what they do and be successful and bring attention to the women's game. Although everyone is invited to watch with the Outlaws, no matter how much you know about soccer, those who know a lot about the sports so they enjoyed getting to be around others like them. It's really fun to be able to watch it with people that understand soccer and I can, you know, like, oh, that was a foul or that's a PK, you know, and and just to be able to talk tactics and, and different things. It's, it's fun to be able to be with like-minded people. Fans young and old watched the women secure a fourth World Cup title as the team became the first in women's World Cup history to do so. It was consistent over a period of time and to, to have that because the World Cup's only every four years, just like the Olympics, to you only get certain amounts of shots to, to win these World Cups and the competition is very fierce. The women took down four straight European opponents on their way to the final and today the United States beat the European champions. To beat a team that has already proven themselves across all the European stage against England, Italy's, Spain's, Germany's, uh, Sweden's, all these teams that get a chance to play together more, it gives us an idea of where we're at. It shows exactly how good we are in comparison to the rest of the world in regards to the women's game.